Steelers. Falcons coming up on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 15 matchup. How about going against a team with a three-game winning streak? That's the case here. Well, when you have a three-game winning streak in the NFL, it means a couple things. It means you're healthy, and it means you're playing very well. I think it's going to be tough to snap that three-game winning streak here today. Arenas on the return. It out to about the 27 before he's taken down. They face first down. Ryan gives it up. That picks up seven. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. Second down coming up. The Steelers defense lined up in a 4-6 formation. The Steelers defense lined up going with the 46 defense. Ryan from the gun. Looking long to Julio Jones. Nice catch. Touchdown. The fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. Falcons now will tack on the extra point. Count it. Going to test the coverage here. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down on the way. Roethlisberger comes out in the pistol. It's the old counter play. They deck him in the backfield. Steelers offense, a paucity of points on the season. The Steelers lined up in the pistol. Second and 12. bring him to the turf give a lot of credit to the defense this time they got the offense backed up it's inside it's over 20 they're aggressive and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception and they make it nice play first down coming up the defense comes out in the nickel Ryan's gonna take the snap from the shotgun down the field Touchdown. This goes to show you guys practice everything in the NFL. On both sides of the ball, you can tell the offense has practiced this quite a bit. The receivers were in position. The football came their way, and they get a touchdown on a Hail Mary pass. The Falcons for the extra point. And the point after is good.
there to make the tackle. First down here. Browns in the slot. Bell's got it on the handoff. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game. But I know this, when you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Browns lined up in the slot. Here we go. Football. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Here's how the Falcons line up on defense. They've given up a lot of passing yards this season, so they'll need to try and keep the offense in check today. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Second down and seven. Almost intercepted. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Browns lined up now as a slot receiver. And he's taken down. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. Hester's got it at the 27. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. They're happy to begin this drive from this point. Quarters formation here for the defense. The Falcons take it from the 33. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. They're one of the best in the NFL when it comes to moving the ball up and down the field. The Falcons will approach this play from out of the pistol. Second and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. And that pass is defended by Polamalu. Here's how the Steelers' defense. Last week was a good one for them, forcing six turnovers. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Throws to the right. And that pass is deflected by Polamalu. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and deflect the pass without getting a penalty. Good job. The kick is good. The kick is good from downtown. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. The Steelers set to return the kick. And he's met head on right there at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Roethlisberger's setting up now in the pistol. Handoff made. Bell right side. And that game's one. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Bell's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Second and nine. Brown's got it. And a first. Oh, 
Things haven't changed from when I played till now. When it's Number zone coverage, quarterbacks, <laughs> offensive coordinator, and receivers, they expect a completed pass, and that's what they got in this last play. This play set up by the long gainer. He takes it on the counter. And that's a touchdown, and they inch closer. Touchdown, Steelers. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. And this is Arenas running it out. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. First down here. Quarters formation here for the defense. Ryan standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Looking long to Julio Jones. Running room. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. Nice job by the receiver running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. The point after is good. Getting ready to kick it off. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Roethlisberger is going to be in the pistol here. Two, 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 two. The Steelers come out in the pistol. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Breaks free, has some space to work with. Second down coming up. Bells in the backfield, single back set. Second down and five. Looking long, but it's incomplete. It's nice to have a good arm and throw the football down the field like this. But that time, that was terrible. Just overthrew the open receiver. Third and five following the incompletion. Roethlisberger's lining up in the pistol. The Steelers will come out in the pistol. Third and five. Looks to his left. Miller's got the catch and the first. When you play this uh, cover three Number defense, seven. just kind of sit back there and try not eight, to give eight, up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern at time? Bells lined up in a single back formation. The Steelers snap it at the 36. Bells going to secure the handoff. And they are in on Bell. Bell's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back. When there's nowhere to go, hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down here after that run play. Roethlisberger comes out in the pistol. The Steelers come out in the pistol. They give it to him on the counter. Outside to the left. Brought down after a gain of six. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. 
Roethlisberger set in the pistol. Third down and two. Very nearly intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. The punter awaits the snap. Hester's going to try and return this punt. He stacked up at that point. They come to the line, and it's first down. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Falcons' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. That leads us to second down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. The Falcons running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Ryan's got it in the gun. Jumps up and hauls it in. That picks up 11. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. First down here after the completion. Jones, a receiver in the slot. To the ground. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short gain. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Freeman's got the carry once more. Taken down at the 45. It'll be third down. Wide receivers are bunched up. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. And that's Taylor, who almost had a pick. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. They'll take it at the 20. The Steelers are set for their next possession. Bells lined up directly behind the quarterback here. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Second down now. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Second down 
down and nine. Looking across the middle, Roethlisberger finds Miller. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Miller's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming go, go, snap. Go, 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 go. Bell's taking the handoff and picks up maybe three or four. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down and six. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. And he's on the sidelines out of bounds. How about that? You throw the football behind the line of scrimmage, and the running back catches it and makes a big play out of it. He's able to make people miss, and he can break tackles. This guy is a force. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Bell's got it on the handoff. Rocked for a loss on that tackle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Miller's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun. Intercepted! The tackle was made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down, offense readying for the snap. Freeman's handed the football, and he's going to be tackled right around the 37. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second and four following the run. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. They're setting up screen. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Half time, two minutes away. Loss of three. After that last reception, they are still eight yards away from a first. Third and eight coming up. Matt Ryan from the shotgun throws the pass. Ryan over to Jones. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. Ryan takes it from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And now we'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Freeman's marked down after a gain of four. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets them another first down. First down here after the run. Ready, ready. 
right back to the ground. And that's a two-yard gain. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Falcons signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. It's now second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. We'll run it with him again. Gets about four yards that time. The Falcons are going to call a timeout. Want to talk about this third down. After that last carry, it's third and three. From the gun, out to the left. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. And the kick is good for three. Never take it for granted. When you're trying to field goal, a lot of things can go wrong, but good execution that time by the offense and a good kick, three points. The Steelers set to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. Osher will be sending this one towards the end zone to get the second half started. Jackham at the 16-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready now to see what it can do. Bryant's go. going to get set Let's in the slot for this snap. Go, go, go. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Roethlisberger gets it to his tight end, Heath Miller. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Bryant's in the slot. They'll run it off the toss. Running room. Le'Veon Bell. Hey, first off, that's a heck of a name. I love it. But what a good job that time. Picks up big yards. You can see why he was a high draft pick. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Here's the first snap after the big play. The give breaks free, and they are in on Bell. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Second down and five. It's intercepted. to a 
Hall. Did it also on the defensive side. where you have linebackers can make plays like that, getting that interception. It's not always defensive backs that get to make those plays. Linebackers can do it too. They face first down. Big set here for the defense, lining up in the 4-6. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Defense with plenty of bodies in the there box here on this play. Drop back, shotgun formation to Jones. That was made, and that'll move the chains. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. Looking long to Julio Jones. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy drops it, and you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Split backfield here. From the shotgun. Running away from the pressure. Taken down at the 39. On the way, third down. Falcons in the pistol formation. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, it almost picked off that time. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Steelers bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. The catch is made. Gains 18. Good job by the receiver that time. That Getting that extra couple really yards really gets a really first really down. Really they are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down here after the completion. Bells lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. This run goes nowhere. Stuff for a loss of four. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Second down and 13. Down 
the field, and they can't connect. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and able to knock the pass down without getting a penalty. Good job. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Bryant's lined up in the slot. Halfway through the third quarter. Roethlisberger and Miller with that combination. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. Miller's move from the tight end position to the slot. From the gun, he'll throw it over the middle. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Uh, I can't give all the all credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half. Even though they're losing, the defense should have known that that play was coming, and they should have stopped it. First down at the 45. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger, but it falls incomplete. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Miller's move from the tight end position to the slot. The Steelers will take the snap from the 45. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Roethlisberger's going to take it from the gun. Looking long. Could have been intercepted. Whoa, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. And sometimes you just gotta, gotta make a better decision at the quarterback position. The Steelers will blow another timeout now, leaving them with just one for the rest of the game. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Roethlisberger's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. First down at the 48. Freeman's taking the handoff. And he's brought to the ground. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Freeman's lined up outside on the right. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. 
Julio Jones with the grab. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun to Jones. He's brought down. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Coming up, second down. The Falcons come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Almost intercepted that time. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Third and eight coming up after the incompletion. Split backfield here. Out of the shotgun. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. Bryant's lining up for the field goal. He's two of two so far today. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. This is Ford running it out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Steelers get ready to start their drive. Millers moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Roethlisberger finds Miller. And here we have second down. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Going for the deep ball. And it falls incomplete. Quarterback has a strong arm, but I am starting to question his touch. Need a little more touch on those deep passes. That time he overthrows the receiver. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Well, quarterbacks know on third down they got to make a decision to get rid of that football because the defense, they are coming after you. That time just not good enough and he throws an incompletion. The offense is back on the field here for this fourth and sixth play. Wide receivers are bunched up. Roethlisberger from the gun. This is going to set up a change of possession. This is what they call managing the game. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down. And you just got to expect 
either way that you're going to make it or if you don't make it what are you going to do What a place to start for the offense. Get ready. Hey. The Falcons take it from the 23. Julio Jones with the grab. Welcome back to this one side of the fair. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Let's go. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. That'll stop the play right there. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lines up here. So first and goal to go. Someone got a paw on it. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Now they'll try over again on second down. Get ready. Break the yard. Break the yard. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Only two yards to go to pay dirt. Let's Offense go. lines up here. Third and goal at the two. And he's thrown to the ground. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take him down. A short field goal try on the way. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Now the defense is going to be excited. They come out there. The offense has great field position, but they stop them. But they give up three points, but still a victory for the defense. from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Steelers come onto the field for their next series. The Steelers come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. First and ten. Flip to the outside. He's into the open. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. The Steelers look like they have nothing left after a hard-fought victory a week ago, and today they are getting dusted. Well, the mind was right. The body is just not there for them today. They're definitely out of gas, and it shows in this performance one of their worst of the season. That brings the play to an end. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. The Steelers from the 22. A takeaway. 
charging ahead. And he heads to the sidelines, out of bounds. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down on the way. Offense lines up here. Let's go. Hey. We'll go ground up the middle. That's a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Brought down by Timmons. Third down on the way. Takes it from the gun to Jones. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Tick, 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 tick. That's what we're trying to do. Make that clock keep running down. You got the offense out there. You got a big lead in the second half. Every first down you get shortens that football game. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. Let's go. Freeman's got it on the handle. Timmons in on the tackle. Second down here. Falcons are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Looking across the middle. Back was made and the first down is picked up. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Freeman's lined up as the single back. They'll run it here. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. The Falcons have it at the 34. And Hayward in on the tackle. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. It's third down coming up. Get ready. Grab 38. From the gun. Julio Jones with the grab. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The Falcons will go with the pistol on this play. Gets the handle here. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Second down following the run. Marching down the field and taking their time. Here's the handoff. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. First down here after the run. Mounting a serious drive. Get ready, Takes the knee. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. 
Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Falcons team official. At this point, the medical staff is going to hold him out of this one with what they're still just calling an upper body injury. So, guys, he's out for the day. Back to you. And if that's the case, this is the type of injury that can end his season. This has been a long drive so far. Takes the knee. Third down now. Well, they came in off a win, and they get another one here today. Hey, two weeks in a row, Jim. You play good football. You win. That's a lot of positive reinforcement. You feel good about what you're doing, and there's no way you think you'll lose the following week. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.